Hi there, welcome to the Wonky Quilter. I'm Kim Bourgeois Landry, and I'm not sitting in my sewing machine today. Actually, I'm in the kitchen. And do you know what I'm doing? Oh, let's see if I can turn this thing around, turn this baby around. Look at this, sorry about the kitchen, but I've been watercoloring. I don't have any talent or skill, but you know what? That really doesn't matter. The fact is, I've been feeling creatively blocked. And so, how I share my creativity with myself, just myself, um, is through quilting and sewing and playing with fabric and um, thinking of ways that um, I can make something beautiful out of fabric. But you know what? It's not the only way. Why did I sit around um, playing with fabric when I was feeling blocked instead of doing something else? I don't know. But it's what we do. If we knew how to get out of um, creative blocked uh, energy, I guess that would never be a problem. The fact is, this past weekend, I did a little video on it, but I ended up not showing it. I got into my car and drove down to um, a place called Painted With a Twist, which I'd never done anything like that before. And I don't wanna say it's paint by numbers, but I mean, they really give you, okay, take this much of a gloop of blue paint on your brush and put it right here and make one big line with it and then go this way. And it's really um, helpful for people who are just intimidated by paint and canvas and paintbrushes and, uh, you know, I'm not an artist. And, you know, I did okay. I mean, I'm not gonna be hanging that up in my kitchen, my little hydrangeas in my um, ball jar. But, you know, I recognize the feeling. What I have been doing is just taking everything apart in, um, and I'd been doing this for a couple months. I just say, maybe if I um, take apart this uh, jelly roll and play with the fabrics, maybe if I just like unorganize things and play with different pieces of fabric, like look at all this good stuff. Everything in my sewing room is just taken apart because I've been playing with it. Do you know why? Because I've kind of been in a little bit of a blue mood. I don't know why. I don't feel depressed. I just feel like um, I couldn't sew. I could rip real well. I would stitch for a couple of 20 minutes. I said a couple of stitches the other day, but really I'd do it for about 20 minutes. I was dissatisfied with everything. I just would rip. I'd lay it down, I'd lay down a line of stitching, and I'd rip it out. I couldn't get into a vibe with the machine, I couldn't, nothing. So I just kept playing with fabrics. I'm gonna show you some of the, the things. Look at how pretty this is. And um, that I got at my local quilting store. These are fabrics that I've just been buying a few at a time, but the same things, and putting them together and I'm making my own kits out of them. But even that wasn't helping me. Oh, in my local quilt store, um, Lola Pink on the Boulevard in Lafayette, Louisiana. They're always real nice to me. And um, I just go in there and hunt in their um, scrap basket. I'm not in there buying, you know, 75 or $100 worth of fabric to make a new quilt. I'm just searching up little cut pieces. Look at this one. This was beautiful because it's got like a 70s vibe to it. So I can use this to patch one of my old quilt tops um, before I quilt it. I'd said last time that I might put my machine away. It's not true. I'm not putting the machine away. I kind of love my machine. But I am pulling out my hoops and limbering up my fingers and um, I'm feeling excited about it. I'm not stitching, but that's okay. I'm feeling a little bit like maybe the fire on my burner has been turned up a little just because I started putting paint on canvas or here I'm working with watercolors. Um, 
I have a bunch of oils. My mother was an oil painter and she was very talented. Um, but that didn't get passed along to me. Or at least I haven't identified it yet. My Neither has uh, my sister. Um, I have a niece who said that she might like to paint. But she hasn't done that either. My, my daughter is a good artist. Um, although she's not working in an art field at all. You know how life is. But she's... Um, making a real nice life for two children and her husband, you know, but not in the art field like she thought she might. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I am feeling um, like I might be getting my creative group back. I'm just working on it. So very often I work with dreams a lot of times. Well, what this is teaching me is that like dreams are elusive, so is the creative urge. So if you've misplaced um, whatever it is, whatever tool it is, for me it's quilting or s stitching. Um, if you've missed, if you miss where you put it, if you misplaced it, stop looking for it and just pick up a different tool. And what happens is when you pick up a different tool that sort of magnetizes your tool to the one that you're actually using. So I pick up a paintbrush and all of a sudden I can feel my needle and thread wanting to get a little closer to me. Like there's a little jealousy there or like it's being magnetized and pulled to the surface. And maybe it's a little like fishing. My husband would love the fishing um, analogy there. But I think what I want to tell you is that it's not always about picking up the same tool. Although, look at that pretty fabric. This is another reason why I cannot get rid of the machine. Because, um, because I have such pretty pieces of fabric. I mean, look at this. Look how sweet that is. Girls and boys, um, life is funny. Everything circles back around. You gotta stop and smell the flowers. There's always a pattern. It's always a pattern. This is, I don't even know where I got this. This is a beautiful piece of fabric. It's really thick. This may make a, a tote bag or something. I know these I bought thinking of my granddaughters. Look how cute. Paddles. Makes me think of going to the lake. Hmm. This used to be a kind of um, ribbon candy that looked like this that would always be in a grandmother or a great aunt's bowl. This I think I need to make um, a headscarf for myself, a bandana. Cause that's some really good summer colors. Y'all, I'm so attracted to oranges. I don't know what to do about that. But you know, orange is a color for creativity. Um, look at this, I think that this is a new fabric. Pretty, white and gray, clean, lovely. I don't know what else to say, but I just wanted to touch base. Um, before I leave, there will be no sewing. I mean, I feel like I'm kind of ready to sew, except um, my oldest granddaughter, who is um, uh, shy of six years old, is coming for the weekend. So we're going to be outside making um, concrete stepping stones and maybe doing a little uh, acrylic painting and uh, probably just wrecking the place. But we may not be using the sewing machine. But thanks for joining me. I hope you'll come back again. See you next time. Kim Bourgeois Landry, the wonky quilter.